Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a Facebook request that I got from one of the dip powder pages that I'm on. Um, I posted a picture of my encapsulated dry flower nails and I had a couple people ask me how I did those. So today I'm going to be showing you. So here are my nails. I've had them done for about 10 days now. I'm going to be redoing them very soon. So I don't want to do the same design again, so I thought I would just file down two of my nails and just show you how I did them. So here are my nails. I'm just going to be doing the designs on my middle fingers. I've just taken my e-file and my hand file and just filed them down a little bit thin just because I am going to be putting the flowers on and then encapsulating them with two layers of clear dip powder. I'm just showing you how thick they are on my ring fingers once they're done. So. Here are my dried flowers that I got off of Amazon came in a pack of two. One pack had bigger flowers. I'm just going to open it up just to show you. I did a practice with these bigger ones and they're really, really thick. So I'm not sure if you can see just how thick they are. But they're really on the thick side. You can work with them, but it's going to make your nails super chunky. So I'm going to actually put those inside of a book and kind of smash them down and see if that'll make them thinner. But here's the flower that I'm going to be using. It's a lot thinner, a lot easier to work with, especially if you've never done the dried flowers before. So here is my clear dip powder that I'm going to be using along with my Revel Nail Pro Base and Activator. So I'm just going to open up my dry flower case. I'm going to pull out the set of orange flowers. Now if you have longer nails you could just put that whole entire thing on there but I like to just snip and get those little ones off so I can just kind of place them individually on my nails. I like to keep my designs a little bit simple but if you have longer nails you can put as many flowers as you want on there. So I'm just going to snip all the little flowers off. just with some nail scissors. I'm just gonna put them back into my case so they're just a little bit easier to get out. I'm gonna need my paper towel to wipe my base on in a bit. So I'm just gonna pick them up and set them on top of my case. That looks good. I'm just going to pull out my two yellow flowers that I'm going to use. Just so I have everything ready and I don't have to dig in the case after I've started. and I've already prepped my nail, like I said, filed it off. Now I'm just wiping it with some alcohol. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of my Pro Base. 
just for that sticky glue layer so my flowers have something to stick to. I just want a thin amount. I'm just going to place it over top of my whole nail. Now when I did this originally, I just did one layer of dip and then did the flowers. So I'm just going to place the flower where I want. And you do kind of have to work with it, pushing it down quite a bit just to get it to stick because the center of the flower is a little thicker. Just because that's the bulb that holds all the petals and everything on. So you do kind of have to work. Work it in a little bit. And I'm just going to go in and just take the little tiny pieces that I cut a second ago and just place them kind of wherever you want. So I'm actually going to take that little corner one off just because I like to add some little hand painted dots on there after. So I'm just going to go in. I have some pre-cut little white ones I just want to add to it. I'm just going to take a little bit more base. Just kind of pat down some of the flowers that we already have on there just to make sure they're glued on there nicely and it'll give it a little extra stickiness to put my white flowers onto Just placing some white ones on there. Just kind of randomly. You could even look up dried flower designs on Google and get an idea for placement if you want. I just sometimes like to just put them wherever. I'm just pressing everything down, making everything, making sure everything is on my nail. The more pressed down you can get them, the better. Then it'll be nice and even and hopefully won't have to do as much filing. going to keep pressing them down and I like to do it in a tapping motion I don't like to put my tweezers on and hold them in one spot for too long because then you risk your tweezers getting stuck on there okay so now I'm going to do another layer of pervase. You want to do a nice thin layer. You want to make sure you cover all the flowers and everything that you've done. I'm just going to go around with the dotting tool, make sure I didn't get any of the base on my skin. 
And then I'm just going to dip that into my clear. Shake off the excess. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. And obviously when you're doing this, you would do the pro base and the dip all the way to as close to your cuticle as you can get. But I don't want to do that for this time because it would look weird if I have one <laughs> nail on each finger that's fully filled in. So I've just dusted off the excess. Now I'm going to do one more thin layer. the base, making sure to cover my whole nail, and I'm just going to dip it into the clear. Like so, give that a second, and then I'll brush that off. I'm gonna go around with my dotting tool again and just get any powder that might be around my cuticles. If there's any videos that you guys would like to see me do, leave me a comment, let me know. I would love to do more request videos. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do my other hand. I am left-handed, so this is, is my problem hand sometimes. This one sometimes takes me a little bit longer to do. I'm just going to work on pressing that down. My tweezers got a little per base on, so got a little stuck on there. I'm just pressing that flower in, making sure it's getting on there nice and good. You want to try and get it as flat on your nail as possible. I'm just going to add a couple little orange flowers and some white flowers. Here I'm just adding a couple white ones, just one or two. I love white flowers, especially the little tiny ones. I will be redoing my nails on probably Tuesday and I will be filming that so that video should be up Wednesday probably Wednesday maybe even Tuesday night we'll see so now I'm just applying a layer of pro base Going around, making sure I didn't get anything on my skin. I'm 
making sure all my flowers are on there nice and good. Now I'm done with my flowers. I'm going to do my first thin layer of pro base, making sure I'm covering all the flowers I put on. I'm just going to dip into my clear, tap off the excess, give that a second. And I'm just going to brush off any excess. Then my second layer of Pro Base. Go around my skin with my dotting tool, or you can use orange wood stick or a toothpick. Dip into the clear. And when you're doing this, you want to really make sure that you're covering those flowers. If you miss any spot near the flower and then you activate and you're buffing, you may end up buffing into that flower. I noticed that I missed one little spot, so I'm just gonna put a tiny, tiny bit of pearl base on my nail and then just dip the side back into the clear. And like I said, if there's any videos that you guys would like to see me do, just leave me a comment, let me know. Just brushing off the excess. And then I will be doing two layers of activator. And just wiping off the lid to my pearl base so it doesn't get stuck. I'm just going to do my first layer of activator. The activator is really what seals everything in and hardens the acrylic. A lot of systems say just do one coat. I like to do two just to be on the safe side. Any brushes that come in contact with the powder, I just like to wipe them off on clean paper towel so I don't contaminate any of my liquids. So I'm just going to do my second layer of activator. And then all I'm going to do is just file and buff after a minute or so when I know my activator's dry. And here is the reveal shot of how they turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.